<laughs> hey everyone, this is Tony from Sac Studio. Thanks for stopping by. Now, I have not died. Um, I am still around here. I'm, I've been getting used to all the CS6 programs, and there are a bunch of them. <laughs> Um, if you look at my dock up here, it's just, there's a slew of them. I got the Creative Cloud, and it is amazing. Uh, lots of nice not stuff you can do with uh, all these programs. It's just limitless. But there's something I wanted to talk to you about that's really kind of pissing a lot of people off. And I'm going to show you how to fix it today. Now, as you notice, this is not Photoshop. This is Adobe After Effects CS6. Um... Now, a lot of people are running into a problem where they're supposed to be able to use their NVIDIA CUDA-based video card to help with processing and rendering in After Effects, but when they go to Settings and take a look under Previews and they click GPU Information, it says, hey, GPU not available, incompatible device or display driver. Now, they're beating their head against the wall, and they go and they download the CUDA driver about a million times, doesn't seem to help. Do clean installs all you want, it's not going to do any good. GPU is not going to be selected in the list. I'm going to show you how to fix this. Now, this is just a quick video, don't worry. The reason I've been away for a while is I've been doing some new stuff. We're going to have some After Effects intros some really cool stuff coming down the line uh, there may even be a photoshop tutorial later today if not a little bit later in the week but that's beside the point so let me show you what I'm talking about here so what we need to do is first of all this only works with Nvidia video cards because that's what it was designed for the CUDA driver okay ATI and you know the AMD side of things they don't have CUDA so it does not work it's not designed to work with those cards so I apologize if you have a Radeon card it won't work here's what you need to do first first of all bring up a browser you want to go to developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA dash GPUS and GPUs of course so I'm gonna leave that up there take a look at it get the address I'll try to put the link in the description if I can remember it. what you want to do is go and look at this list and be sure the video card you have is listed here now there's a lot of these in the list the quadro cards are more of a business graphics type card very expensive not too many people have those unless you bought a business type system that's meant for CAD graphics and so on NVS is the same thing, but look in the list. Is it in there? Mobile desktop products. Now, here's the most common video cards that most of you will have in the consumer PCs. Now, you want to look down the list and you want to see exactly what it says and how it says it. Okay, so now let's see. My video card in this system is a GeForce GTX 550 Ti. I didn't need a ton of power. I play a few games, but mostly I do the, the studio work on this machine, so no big deal. So now that we see how it's listed, GeForce GTX 550 Ti, what we're going to do is we're going to go hunting, okay? So first thing is we need to go to our C drive, and this is the same if you're on a Mac. You just follow the same process, but your file system's a little different, okay? Now I'm using the 64-bit, and it's in Program Files, not Program Files 8.6. Adobe, After Effects, Support Files. Now you want to scroll all the way down to the R's until you see this file called Ray Tracer Supported Cards. Now Ray Tracing is a new feature in CS6 that is amazing, and you will love it when you start playing with it. Um, nobody don't let your head explode if you've never dealt with After Effects before it's very daunting at first but there's lots of cool stuff you can do with it and we're going to cover it later on um, so when you open it you see it's a very limited list of cards and you're like well why is my card not in there because it was on the CUDA list I've got the CUDA driver it should be there well here's the trick let's add it um, so let's go to the top of the list we're gonna hit enter 
arrow key back up and remember how I said we need to type it in exactly the way it was listed on the website. So mine was G Force GTX 550 Ti. Exactly that way. And yes, trust me, it is case sensitive, so do it exactly that way. Okay? Go ahead and save it. All right. You can uh, then go ahead and close these windows. Close After Effects. Okay. We're going to go ahead and open it back up again. All right. And it's a project I was going through earlier looking at through some lynda.com stuff. Um, so let's take a look now at the preferences under previews. And when we go to GPU information, look at that. GPU is now selected. We can choose CPU or GPU, but definitely you want to use GPU if it's available. We see our card is the same. All the information is the same. Now we can do ray tracing, and it will really help the performance. That's my iPhone. Somebody dinged me on Facebook. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, this is just a quick video to help these people who are asking me a ton of questions about it. And like I said, I don't mind the help. I'm always here to help. So if you have any questions, please ask. Um, this is the way you get your video card that is supported by CUDA, recognized by After Effects. It's a big question. It's a big deal out there. A lot of people don't know the answer to it. I'm just trying to spread the word and help. Now, also I'd like to mention that um, YouTube is uh, kind of having some problems with subscriptions. They started going through and uh, basically removing in inactive accounts. So make sure if you're watching this, you know, if it popped up in your subscription box, obviously you're still subscribed to me. But, you, you know, if you run across it and you were subscribed to me, but you find out that you're not anymore, go ahead and resubscribe. There was a bug. Uh, it took some, rig some real uh, subscriptions out that wasn't supposed to be, and I apologize for that. So, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I just wanted to show you this awesome way to get your After Effects to recognize your CUDA card. Because trust me, performance and everything, ray tracing, it's all based on you know the video card. So, if you've got the video card working with the CPU, you are golden. So, thanks for stopping by. I hope this was helpful. Uh, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Sock Studios or at Twitter, twitter.com Sock underscore Studios. Thanks for stopping by and have a good one, guys.